I'm going to do several things here. I'm going to talk about to start with the patches changes that they've implemented. And they've put in a large number of them. So the first part that you're going to notice, is you're going to see uh, on my screen on the right side, you're actually going to see that I have map areas I haven't done yet. That hasn't shown up in a long time. Complete stage one of the deserted battlefield on normal. Okay, well, when we go over here to take a peek at the deserted battlefield, it is showing up as a continent. Unfortunately, it's not accessible. Coming in a future update, that'll be in January. They did that the last time they added a new continent. All right, so let me get into some changes. Oh, if you hadn't seen it yet, there is actually a new Persephone outfit. I'm gonna, that's one of the changes, so that counts as showing you a change. Santa Girl Persephone. And I purchased for mine the blue dress, because I think that looks pretty damn cool. I might actually get some more of these dresses, just because these I like these outfits. They're really nice. All right, so that's an update. Um, I am going to be doing the Tower of Chaos in just a few minutes. Uh, and I'm going to climb the entire tower. All right, so notices. Um, new variant gleam package, so that's new. So you can click on that and it'll give you the info. Okay, well, I guess it'll just take us to the patch notes. We'll just go over this whole thing. Maintenance was accomplished. New Astromon Hades. Ooh, we have to look at the Hades Astromon. So that's been added. He'll be acquirable through 10 plus one, actually just flat out 10 plus one. So he's gonna be a non-hero fest five-star unit, which is cool. Um, also lighter dark eggs, the Santa Girl Persephone. Um, launch dates December 14th, which is today through January 10th. The dresses will be 100 mystic fabrics and we'll go up to 150. Um, Rudolph and Water Snowy capture events will start tomorrow. They do not start today. There's the pre-fest running today on that. Um, Pre-festival after maintenance, special period December 16th through 3rd. All right, it might be the 16th. Uh, they'll spawn during the areas. The counter rate is double normal. So they're actually going to have two different ones that could spawn. You could get Rudolph's or Snowy's to spawn, which is actually pretty damn cool. They haven't really done a double capture fest like this before. Um, at least not that I can recall. After the maintenance, uh, you can get better Benedict supports, which of course these are these are pay per play, so it costs money to do those. Um, Rebirth Festival, and I predict, I totally predicted this. I said for the Christmas, they would bring back Draca. It's Christmas, they brought back Draca. All right, so uh, festival period, uh, the 23rd through 25th. So you've got a very limited window. It'll be during Christmas that you'll be able to do that. Um, it does cost you five, three five-star Astromons. Your best bet is to have 15, so you can get all 600 Astrodems as the award, uh, and a million gold reward for it as well, which would be pretty cool. Um, all right, so the fusion will be going on for the Draco, the Rudolph, and Snowy. A Rudolph plus a Rudolph will give you a light Rudolph. The light Rudolph I actually like. Um, an Evo 2 Rudolph plus an Evo 1 Rudolph will give you a dark Evo 1 Rudolph. I actually need to make a dark Rudolph, so that'll be nice. So I'll make one of those up. Um, probably keep that this time. Uh, and then the Snowy, you can get the... Uh, a light snowy and a dark snowy. I don't know if I've ever done the dark snowy, so I might actually end up doing um, the, the dark snowy and the dark Rudolph. I have the light. don't know if I'd kept the dark or done them previously. And then the Dracas, the fusions to make two lights a dark or two darks a light. Um, really damn expensive to do that. But if you got it and you want it, I guess you can do it. Um, okay, so... They're bringing back Tanya, the, the matchstick girl, as a fusion dungeon, or an event dungeon, so that'll be the Lupin dungeon. Um, with clues for that, 15 per day, that's pretty standard, matchstick girl. Um, I don't think I ever got the dark version of her, so I might actually make the dark one this time. Because uh, I, I have the light, I don't think I did do the dark, I'm going to have to check out the dark as well. Alright, new Astromon Soulstones in the Shady Shop, Rudolph and Snowy are already showing up now. Um, seasonal event variant astromons in the crystal shop. Oh, okay. Uh, variant water, wood, fire, uh, pricey. 
Uh, King's Blade, Leonard, Leonard. They're doing another Leo Super Fest. You can get 600 Astro Gems if you do another Super Evolve of the Leo. Um, I don't have enough Astro of uh, the Super Stones to do it right now, so that's not going to happen. Variant Holy Gleam package is up and for sale. Um, it's probably what it was last time, which was 90 bucks. Um, the Rudolph package, 990 Astro Gems. You get four Rudolphs. You can catch them though. Um, you purchase enough times, you can get Gleams and Light Dark Eggs. Same thing for the Snowies. Happy Holidays package. Secret Egg, Light Dark Egg, some goals, Master Gems. Three times that's a cash purchase. This is another cash purchase. Happy Holiday packages. The t okay, big news, the Tower of Chaos rework. They reworked the entire floor of every Tower of Chaos. And supposedly you're supposed to be able to auto-battle your way up. I'm going to be doing that today. Increased XP from 1st to 70th floor. Decrease number of rounds, the number of rounds are fewer, less energy required, rewards for new main floors, legendary secret eggs, so a four to five star egg, 500,000 gold, and a heroic egg for the 100th floor. That's going to be interesting. All right, rework of the glacial plains and Aurora Plateau. They decrease the boss and Astramon defense level. Huge decrease in attack and defense, slight increase in points. They made it a lot easier to beat them effectively. Decrease in resistance of bosses hard on extreme, decrease in difficulty of the boss radius. Um, they're going to save your last gem upgrade information. Uh, the number of heroic festival eggs for Heroes Festival. The number of heroic festival egg rewards for Heroes Festival before one time. They're changing it so you can get up to three five-star guaranteed eggs for getting a, each time you pull a five-star. So that's a huge change. It's really going to encourage people to spend even more astrogens to get more five stars because you're basically doubling up every every five star you get. Um, they're activating the star stone decompose. The star stone high stone will give you five mid stones. I don't need mid stones. I never have. High stones are the ones that I'm always out of. They're working on crashing and freezing stuff still. They fixed the leaf clan not showing for apprentices. Super skills level showing is level one even at max max level. Misuse skill book icons and manage skill window. That's weird. Crashing on the loading page of Clan Conflict makes the Astromons unusable. All right, so again, large amount of patches. We're going to take a quick look here over at the Astro Guide, which is now up here. We're going to look at the new Astromons, being the Hades. All right, so Evil One. Yeah, he, you know, he looks like he looks like an, an old style anime character, but a bad guy. Um, so let's take a look at the Evil Two. Evo 3, so he's a scythe wielder. He just, he ends up with more, it's funny how sometimes they decide that more clothes equals more powerful, and yet with the female characters, it's sometimes less clothes equals more powerful. Anyway, so at level 60 as an attacker, he's got a pretty good attack rate. Actually, for an attacker at 60, he's got a good defense, too. Um, let's see his variants. Ooh, that's an interesting looking variant. So he is a resistance breaker for dungeons, that's a weird. Hey, hey, or hey, hey, it's hey, Blood Reaper. I'm actually going over this stuff right now. Um, curse, eighty percent chance to curse the enemy for two turns. Curse foes take hit point damage. So basically, it's applying. I'm not sure what the difference is between that and sap, other than they're two different things. Fulminating Curse deals explosive damage in proportion to the number of curses afflicted upon the opponent. Grants an 80% chance to curse the enemy for two turns. That's really weird. You'd have to, for that to trigger, you'd have to end up with multiple Hades dropping multiple curses for the Fulminating Curse to actually do that bonus damage and be worthwhile. Um, that's, that's a really, really weird way to go about doing that. Okay, so the water is indeed, from what Blood Reaper said, a courageous striker. A three-turn defense break, though, so that's nice. Um, he's basically uh, similar to the ninja, although I wonder if the resistance decrease works on the Titans and Colossus. That would be a huge deal if it did. Um, he would be basically a real go-to unit for that sort of thing. Um, wood, a thirst. I, the thirst skill is honestly not all that great with an aggression hit point space, so he's a hit point to very similar to the Water Shiva, actually. Um, Alright, so light, so let's see, light and dark, okay. 
dark is the exact same as fire, except dark gives you a three there. Okay, dark gives you the three turn curse as opposed to a two turn curse, which means you could start stacking it easier with the dark. Um, light is a predator with an elemental edge, so very similar to some other light types of type units. So let's take a peek at what they actually look like. I like the variant color scheme on that one better. This guy. Man, I just don't like the look of this color scheme. The, this one's not bad, but this one this is a really weird green and brown combination. Yeah, I know. I saw you get the five star egg for beating that 100 tower. I'm actually going to work on climbing the tower after I do this, for looking at these guys. Um, the lights, and then, all right, yeah, the dark, the dark non-variant looks the coolest of out of all the Hades, I think. That, that does actually look pretty cool. All right, while I'm here, I need to look and see if I've actually done Snowy in the Dark Rudolph, because I might not have. And they're both coming up, and so is the Dark Tanya, so I'll actually be able to make her, because she's going to be the Lupin dungeon coming up. So I'll be able to make the Dark Talia, which is pretty cool, so I'm happy about that. Um, I will be able to make a Dark uh, Rudolph, which I have not been able to make yet, so I'm happy about that. Um, she is an attacker with an attack down, so that's an interesting piece. And then the Snowy. I have done up to an Evo 2 Snowy, so I'll be able to do the Evo 3 Snowy also, which is awesome. Hey, Cinder, how you doing? Um, Blood, I don't mind spending some energy to climb the tower. Because you get energy as you go and you get astrogems back as you go. The astrogems you end up getting basically pay for the tower climb anyway. Um, restock soon, which means restock now. And they activated the you can auto climb stuff now. So you can just climb until you bump into something that you have to then reset. Uh, all right, so I've picked up stuff. All right, so I need to do a couple things on this.